This is for machine cutting. Same thing as uh, it's just a heavy duty cutting torch. You have a oxygen and you have your fuel gas over here. And then this lever, open it like that and it goes to cutting. So that's what you would use on some sort of a tracer torch. Um, most of them today are electronically controlled. So this valve won't be here, it will be a solenoid instead. And probably solenoids for these two. You probably adjust these, set it, and it'll have an electric igniter here too. So it ignites it, gives a certain amount of time when it figures it's hot enough, or it might have an infrared sensor and then it starts cutting, making parts. Why would we do that today versus using a plasma? Why wouldn't we just cut it with plasma? Why wouldn't we just cut it with water jet? Um, there's another one I'm forgetting in there somewhere, but anyway, those are the main ones. Uh, and the reason is thickness and cost. Water jet is really nice quality. It doesn't hurt the temper of the material, base material. Uh, you have some problems after you've bought water jet cut parts because of the abrasive that is embedded in the cut. Once in a while, that'll give you a little bit of trouble right at the surface where the abrasive is, is cut in there. Uh, you'll, if you're, like if you have holes that are abrasive cut, I'm going way off base now, but anyway, we'll finish with it for a little bit. <laughs> you're cutting with abrasive um, and you go to chase it with a reamer, you'll just wipe your high-speed steel reamer out. It'll hit the abrasive that's in there. If you have a big enough cut, it, it normally will be okay. But if you have a very small cut, if you're just reaming a little bit, it'll wipe your reamer out. So um, anyway, it's one of those things. The, the big thing with the water jet though is it's very expensive and really slows down as you go to thicker material. You can do, and a lot of people talk about, yeah, we, we could, our water jet will cut eight inches thick. Start asking them the price to cut an eight inch piece. One inch is about the upper end of where it's really a good tool and practical. Two inch can be done at times, but you start getting much over that and the cost, it exponentially goes up as you go thicker because it really, really slows down and it takes a lot of abrasive. It's not just water, it's a water abrasive jet. And so you've got to pay for all that abrasive that's going through to cut. And if you're going through a thicker piece, it takes more energy to keep going through it so you have to travel slower to make sure it gets all the way through before you progress forward. Plasma, plasma, if you got enough amperage, you can go through pretty good. The bigger plasma torches I've been around will do six inch, but plasma also doesn't cut straight down. It, it likes to wander a little bit. If you got magnetic interference around things, it will wander a little bit. It generally will pick a side. Your newer, nicer plasma setups, if you're cutting thicker stuff, will compensate for the angle a little bit. So you, you plan in, you're keeping this side, it will have an extra axis that'll swing away. And as it comes over here, keep swinging away so that your piece comes out nice. But a torch will still be straighter. And that torch right there with the right tips and acetylene gas will cut through 12 inches without a problem. And so there's a place for them. It's old technology, but there's a place for it where it beats the other stuff still. Uh, even though acetylene costs more than running your plasma, um, it, it's going to do a lot straighter, nicer job.